While Americans hope the country will be reopened, leaders are calling for widespread antibody tests to fight the coronavirus. The blood test may be able to find out if someone who had coronavirus is now immune to it. So this could help determine who can safely resume a normal life. But questions still remain over whether this test can accurately determine immunity and how long that immunity lasts. Our senior medical correspondent, that's Dr. Tara Narula, shows us how this test works. If we were able to quickly test people's antibodies and show that the antibody keeps the virus away, we can start getting people back to work. Dr. Matthew Sims is the Director of Infectious Disease Research at Beaumont Health in Michigan. He's leading a study to test blood samples from more than 40,000 healthcare workers. Through a few drops of blood, the test can determine if someone has built up antibodies to fight off the virus, which could be a sign of immunity to prevent reinfection. But it remains unclear how long that immunity will last. Dr. Mike Ryan is the executive director of the World Health Organization's emergency programs. Uh, one would expect that a person who is generates a full-blown immune response with det detectable antibodies should have protection uh, for a period of time. We just don't know what that period of time is. Beaumont Hospital nurse Zena Kassab is getting tested even though she hasn't had any symptoms. She says wide-scale testing is important to understand the scope of this pandemic. I have young children. I have people in my life that are over the age of 65 with comorbidities as well. And I want to know that if I've been exposed, what I can do to continue to protect my family um, and to continue to serve our community. Testing like this is being done across the country, but with little federal oversight, accuracy is a concern. The FDA has only officially approved one test. How accurate is the test that you have now? You know, we believe it's in the high 90s. Um, you know, no test is perfect. You're always going to have some false negatives. You're always going to have some false positives. Do you think that antibody tests can give a false sense of security? Anything can give a false sense of security. We still would recommend taking reasonable precautions, even if you have immunity. Tara, everybody I know is raising their hands saying, test me, test me, please. Do you have any <laughs> sense of when this test will be widely available to everybody? Unfortunately, Gail, we don't know when it will be widely available. And it really comes down to two things. One is how rapidly and efficiently we can scale up production of these tests. But more important is how accurate are these tests? And we need to validate that. What we don't want to do is have tests out there that are telling people they're negative when they're positive and they're positive when they're negative. That would be a big problem. The other factors that we need to figure out, and time will tell us this, is really how protected are you with the antibody? So just because you have a positive antibody test, does that offer you a strong strong level of protection and how long will you be immune for? Ultimately, this is a good thing. The antibody tests are going to tell us how widespread the pandemic is. They'll help us reopen our economy and they will really provide that bridge until we get a vaccine. Yeah, let's hope they can figure it out sooner rather than later. Thank you very much, Tara.